السلام علیکم گڈ مارننگ دس از ارلی مارننگ ان اعظم گڑھ انڈیا ون کین ہیئر دی چپنگ آف برڈس اراؤنڈ پر ہیپس دے آر ونڈرنگ ایز ٹو ہاؤ ایسٹر ڈیز ایونٹ از گوئنگ ٹو افیکٹ دیئر لائف یسٹر ڈے واز این امپارٹنٹ ڈے ان ڈیموکریسی دا پیپل اسٹینڈ ارلی and women will make a beeline to cast a vote at the polling booths. It was, it was surprising to see a lot of women folk making a beeline and uh, were enthusiastic to take part in the proceedings in order to elect their representative for the next parliament. Voting has taken place yesterday. This road, as you can see, is especially late. And this was actually a dusty road and lo- throwing a lot of dust for the last two or three months. But just before the polling, it has been hastily late. This is the government polytechnic where the voting has taken place. We are moving towards the building where polling boats were established uh, in 9 to 111. And as you can see, all the signs have been removed today, but yesterday this was a hub of activity. There were 16 candidates, uh, quite a few of them old hands, like Dr. Santosh Singh of Congress, uh, Durga Prasad Yadav of Samajwadi Party, Ramakant Yadav of BJP, and uh, But there was a new candidate, Dr. Javed Akhtar, who is trying his luck for the first time. He is a new entrant, fielded by Olenek Council. Approaching Dr. Javed Akhtar's house, which is in a mahalla called Lamipura. Earlier, I forgot to mention that uh, the sitting MP, Akbar Ahmed Dhampi, was also in the fray. Actually, his party has first put up Malik Masood as its candidate, but at the last moment, Albert Ahmed Dhamki was here. Now, this is the gate of Dr. Javed Akhtar uh, with posters placed in its port. Dr. Javed Akhtar Sahib, will you please tell us about yourself? Okay, my name is Dr. Javed Akhtar. Basically, I belong to a village named by the name of Talen. And my primary education is from village. And I did my high school from Nalim. After that, I was there for about 10 years at Kaliha. and I did my intermediate, MBBS and post-graduate diploma from Amadeka, Muslim University. And in FTVM, I joined in a medical college at India as a senior registrar. And I was working there as an assistant lecturer in a medical college for up 80 to 90. In 91, I came here at Adhanwar. And I started my complete alphabetic practice in active one year. Why I am doing complete? Because during that time, when I was there at any year and at Vivi Alpha, when I was coming during my vacation, I was doing practice as a part-time, for the help of the society, for the help of the public. And since 1991, till date, I am practicing here at Azamal. Recently at Arazi Bal, there is a precure hospital and is doing practice in the specialty in our village. Yes. Uh, Dr. Javed Akhtar Sahib, you have told us about your medical practice which is uh, in Azamgad for the last 20 years. And uh, we know that uh, when you go to your uh, clinic, you remain there from morning to late night. 
So now when you have decided to come in the political field, what prompted you to leave your practice or to disturb your practice and go for uh, political uh, leanings? Actually for the last many years, personally myself and my friends, they were not agreed with the type of politics which Congress, Majpa, Sabha and Vartanga and especially about Uttar Pradesh. They are not performing their duty adequately and nicely. There is a lot of corruption. They are trying to separate between societies. They are trying to create a distance between Hindu and Muslim. There is a lot of corruption. Adequate works are not, works are not being done. They are taking commission. That is, MLA, MPI, I do not want to name. So, the basic services which is expected with them, they are, they are not doing. They are not listening to the voice of the poor people. They are not listening to the voice of all the communities. There is a certain type of people around them and they come to the area only at the time of election. After that they are away, they are either Delhi or Lakhnow. So there are a lot of views and cries and there is actually a lot of dilemma. The people, the public, uh, there are a lot of problems. After the election they are not coming here, they do not listen to their voices. And why I decided to come into the politics, I, I, I want to tell that a lot of rallies are occurring just beside my clinic because there is a SPP inter college. A lot of political parties coming there, like Pasfa, 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 Congress. But we never got the intention to come and join their stages because we never liked their activities and their performance. Only what they did after the independence that they wanted to divide between Hindu and Muslim through various riots, various activities and they just wanted to rule out of that. We never liked that. And after the Barla House encounter, personally I know many of them that at that time they were here at Adamgarh and not clean because if I tell that they will say that I am supporting the community people Lot of Hindu friends, lot of Hindu workers, they also know that those children, they were here, very much here. And through, especially in this Mayavati, on the discretion of Mr. Narendra Modi, the areas of Ahmedabad, the special cell of Delhi, all the governments are involved, Bajpa, Congress, Baspa is very much involved and Sapa is also very much involved because they also, they are raising lot of voices. There was murder of one engineer, I am happy that they announced the closure of the whole state for one mother. But here the whole community is, is crying. Mothers are crying, sisters are crying. But no party including Congress, Baspa, Sapa, they do not listen to our, our voices. I am not talking about Baspa. Because we are never voting them and so at the same time we do not expect any sympathy with them. So ultimately the whole scenario was very much discouraging. That my belief is that before they try to involve the Madhata students, they said that these are the children who are involved in transparency and terrorist activities. Later on we got, got the suspicion because on the international level, America and Israel, they are the ones who are involved because lot of people after opening embassy of Israel they are going for training at Israel and Israel is the biggest enemy of the Muslim community. So the, so the whole pattern of working of ATS and police is changed. Ms. Mayawati, she joined FIFA twice, became chief chief minister. She went for the embassy of Mr. Narendra Modi who is the enemy of humanity. And at the same time, she is trying to become Prime Minister and possibly with the help of Baipa. So during her whole tenure, she wanted to please RSS, Bajrangar and Baipa. And the main focus of Muslim population, she wants to torture our young students who, who are now trying to gain, gain professional education like MBBS, MD, MS, BTEC, Pharma. Now they are thinking that by torturing the mother side students, the whole Muslim society is not affected too much. So these are the students who are the backbone of society. So let us affect them so that the whole society will be crushed and affected.
and that is the reason because we know that the whole allegation is false. And every and in that allegation, Congress is involved, Baspa, Sapa is involved, so nobody is listening our voice. So it is right decision, rather we are late, so that there should be a political party who should hear the voice of the whole Muslim community. Here I want to tell I had one thing that this is not a Muslim party. We want to raise the voice of all our affected Hindu brothers. Because the majority of Hindus, they are similarly affected like us. Nobody listens. They are taking their vote, but they are not listening their voices. So they will be with us also at the same time. All the affected Muslims, all the affected Hindus. And the third category with us, that there are a lot of people, Muslim people, Hindu people, they are rich, having good muscle power, but they are not affected also, but they will be with us because they are good people. They are serving the nation, they want to decrease the distance between Hindu and Muslim, so they are good people, they are not affected, but still they will be with us. On the other side, we are fighting for justice. Our only one thing is justice, and after independence, any party who has ever given a best slogan, that is Ekta Garachalega, Hindu Muslim Garachalega, that is not given by any other political party. So on the other side, there are various political parties, and we do not like, like the functioning of the police and ATS. They are also enemy of the society, so we will fight against them. And that is the thing which broke me to join the politics because I personally came to know that many people who are not involved in any period, in any naughty activity, not involved in any crime, but since they belong to a particular community, they, they are affected, they are involved, they are tortured. So the whole mission through the suggestion of America and Israel is to crush a particular community to create a distance between Hindu and Muslim and to break India. And we do not like to divide between our Hindu Muslim brothers. We do not like that, that our whole Muslim society is, is affected and crushed. And we do not like division of India. So we want to stand and fight against it. Hopefully uh, we expect you in Parliament. So uh, then uh, you will raise the issue of corruption and justice and communal amenity. I mean you will work uh, consistently for all these issues which you have explained. Yes, certainly. Certainly the whole thing I have narrated. Yes, yes. That we do not like, like corruption, we do not like division of India, we do not like separation between Hindu and Muslim. We want development of the country. One thing I want to tell that there is a lot of money in the country. So many machines coming in the hospital, but they are, that machine is not distributed to the people to, to get those machines. And the needy poor people from village, they never get it. All the poor people, they are not able to get admission in the good institution, good universities. So they, still we are claiming that we are going to be number one in by 2020. Until and unless the, the corruption is stopped, until and unless there is a fair judgment by the political party for all the communities, for all the societies, for all the people existing in India, that will never happen. That is just on the paper. Only one method of getting progress and to become number one, that we should take services of all the type of people and there should be justice in the country. There should, we should avoid all the methods of corruption and only then and then we will achieve that goal. We are, uh, this is on record that the previous MP didn't raise a single question in Parliament. He didn't take part in debates. He didn't introduce private member bill. So uh, do you think that you will be able to do all these things which is expected yes, from the Parliament? Certainly I am very happy to tell you that many, many journalists they contacted us during this four to five months and I am very much pleased, I am very much happy that we raised so much questions in the periphery, not in the parliament because still I am not a member of parliament. We raised, raised so many issues, we raised so many questions in front of our various political parties, in front of country and even our white voices are outside the country also. We raised so many questions that this amount of question is never raised during their whole tenure of five years. So certainly we are hopeful 
there is once we join the parliament, we will be able to raise all the genuine and all the judicious questions of our society, of our community, of Hindu brothers, Muslim brothers, and we are very much sure that we will be able to do, do, do that and achieve the justice. That is our main goal. Dr. Sahib, as a busy practitioner, you are not finding time to go around Azamgarh. But uh, during this uh, Lok Sabha elections, uh, prior to this Lok Sabha election, you have uh, travelled widely and you have gone all the nook and corners of uh, your constituency. Uh, have you, uh, can you report on the state of development of Azamgarh? Right, right. One thing I want to tell that is not a part of your question, but I want to tell on my behalf. That I, personally, I am in the habit of working hard. In Dibya, I had only duty of six hours, but still I was working at least 15 to 16 hours there without being asked. So I am doing the same job here. So during this period also, I was able to manage my hospital, see the patient. Of course, I had appointed one assistant during this time. I did my whole job taking round in the hospital operating patients so that patients are not affected and in future also I will try my level best so that my basic work being a doctor so that I am helping society the patient will not be affected. During this time I want to tell that I am very much aware, I was very much aware about the whole or the ways or the rules of other work because sometimes I used to go to see my patient even in the periphery. They were not able to come to me because of lack of money or because of lack of proper rules. So I used to go there at sometime at night time or very early in the morning. So I was very much aware about the rules. When I contacted all the villages at very remote peripheries, I saw that people are very unhappy because medical facilities are very poor, the roads are very poor, the electricity is very poor. The bridges are very poor, there is no way, there is no communication. So all the things are very unhappy. The claim is just on the paper, the claim of 2020, the claim of uh, my president uh, is uh, that is very heavy claim. And I also want that, certainly want that. But uh, that is just on the paper. So we have to work very hard to join our people to raise the facility, especially in the field of medicine, communication. Transport, they are very much lacking and there is a lot of work to be done for them. Still, that is very poor. People are not happy. But uh, Azamgad, sir, Azamgad had uh, so many MPs. So, uh, do you think your observation is that all these MPs have done nothing in the past? I uh, want them to avoid, avoid them personal things about me. But one thing I want to tell that I do not like commission. During my whole service, I tried to help the, my patient public because I never took a commission in any, in, in any part of my job. I do not want to tell about that. Some people did that, but we have worked very hard. And now I assure you that all the doctor community, they, they are very sure, they have decided that they will not take any commission with the patient. But then I want to tell you that there is a lot of money the government is giving, giving. But our MPs and MLAs, I, I am very much ashamed to tell, I do not have any proof. But that is true also at the same time that they are taking commission up to 55 percent. So the money is not spent properly. If they just want, if they just start taking commission, I assure you that within a very short span of time, within five years, all the problems of our, our people regarding education, health, transport, electricity, all the problems, agriculture, they will be solved very efficiently if they just stop one thing, if they just stop one by the way, that is just they stop taking commission. I assure you very rigidly and firmly that all the problems will be solved. And since personally I know I am very sure about me that at any cost, I will not take commission. I have never done in the past. I am not talking for the sake of election. I have never done it. So I am sure that I will never do it. And all the problems will be solved. And one thing I want to add here, that not during this election time, that is my regard for a long time that I 
have always tried to join our Hindu and Muslim brothers through various methods, through exchanging sympathy to our Hindu patients. They are very happy because we are never demarcating like Hindu, like Muslim. We are looking like a human being. In my clinic, if any poor patient that is even Muslim or Hindu, he comes here, I offer the same amount of help to my Hindu brother like me. So they are happy. Dr. Javed Akhtar Sahib, uh, all type of people come uh, to get uh, treated in your clinic and there is no discrimination. You don't discriminate between uh, Hindus and Muslims and uh, all type of, all community people come to your clinic. So do you think that they have voted, all of them have voted uh, for you in this election? Well, certainly I am not doing any discrimination in my criteria. My only criteria is that who deserve my service. If any poor Hindu patient comes, I am extending the same amount of sympathy, love and help for, for him also, like my Muslim brother. And I believe that many of them, they have voted for me. But I cannot tell that all of them would have voted for me because there are so many social, religious and local foundations. But still they are affected with me, they are happy with me. And they will, they would have voted for me up to my expectation, I am sure for that. The Ulma Council which has fielded you, uh, the name itself provokes uh, sectarian type of uh, uh, things, you know. So, uh, do you think, uh, and many uh, people from the stage of Ulma Council have uh, passed derogatory remarks against our operators. Of course, we are the victim, our children are the victim. Our youths have been targeted and all these are correct. But uh, we should not behave in the same uh, manner as they have behaved. So do you think that uh, with your uh, presence in Ulma Council, uh, things are going to change and the party will uh, adopt some moderate course? Yes, I, uh, as far as the name of Ulma Council is concerned, I want to assure that in the very near future we are going to change that name. And why the name Burma comes at that time? Because in the initial stage, the objective, the aim of Burma Council was not to contest election. After the Barta House encounter, they wanted to raise the voices of our people in front of various parties like Congress, Sapa, Barta. And in a very short span of time, they formed a council just to protest against the political parties. If the intention was to fight the election, then certainly the name would have not been the Uma Council. But since we are now fighting the election, in the very near future, I assure you that we are going to change the name of Uma Council. As far as the function of the Council, that is very good. They are doing justice, they are raising the voice of our Hindu brothers also. But the confusion of name will be removed and in a very short span of time, we are going to change the name and a good name which will be acceptable for all the communities and that will be very widely accepted. This uh, battle now will continue uh, hopefully and uh, you will take part also in further elections like assembly elections and, and other elections. Assembly, so, all the types of elections we will take part. But in the choice of candidate, we see that all national parties as well as regional parties, they don't screen their candidates. I mean, you see all type of uh, people with dubious section distinction, they are being uh, selected uh, and given tickets. So how you will be different, how your party will be different in selecting candidates? I can assure you very much that there are about eight candidates right now contesting election. And the past record of all the candidates was very fair and very honest type of people are given together. And in future, I assure you on my own behalf and on the behalf of party that we are not give, going to give together for any notorious, any naughty, any nefarious candidate. All the candidates will be honest, fair, who agree with the intention of the party. Yeah. In Parliament, uh, do we expect now that Azamgad will be represented in the real manner? With your presence in Parliament, hopefully Azamgad will now be represented and its problem will be solved. 
I am very, very happy, I am very pleased to inform you that after election, certainly Adhanar will be represented very adequately and nicely and a good picture of Adhanar will be focused in the parliament. And at the same time, I am very much happy and very pleased to say you that even before the result of election, the good picture of Adhanar has already come and we have conveyed a very good message to the centre, to the shared parties that what mistake they did for Adhanar by defaming the name of Adhanar either by media or by political parties, they are now very much ashamed, they regret but they are not announcing and I am very sure that even before the election, the election result, very good message is passed and after election I assure you that nobody will, now no political party, now they will not dare to insult Adhanar, the Adhanar people, whether they are Hindu or Muslim, you will be there, they are very adequately in the parliament. Thank you very much, Dr. Sir.